everybody. Yeah. Welcome back to Junior Church here at Beacon Baptist Church. Hope you're doing well today. We'll be going over a three-part series on our mouths, on the tongue, the things that we say, entitled, What Can Tangy Toothpaste, Tiny Torches, and Tough Tools Teach Us About Our Tongue? What, what can tangy toothpaste, tiny torches, and tough tools teach us about our tongue? Remember, it's important the things that we say. Remember what we talked about last week when we had the toothpaste and Mr. Andy was here and how he squirted all the toothpaste out and then he tried to put it back in. It was kind of funny to watch, uh, uh, but we said that's a lot like our words. And once we say words, they can't be put back in our mouth. And so we've got to think about what we say. And remember, as we think about what we say, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspirational? Is it helping anybody? Um, is it necessary? And is it kind? We talked about those things last week. We also mentioned our memory verses, Psalm 19 and verse 14, and then Psalm 141 and verse 3. And if you can have those memorized in, within the next two weeks now, uh, then there's going to be a very special prize for you. And again, for those of you who are watching, uh, this is for first through sixth grade. And uh, if you are able to do it, come up to me, see me at church. And if you can, if you're not at church, then you can come uh, email me at kevin at beaconbaptistchurch.org with a parent saying that, yes, they did it, and uh, we'll do it that way. But either way, I want you to get these verses, Psalm 14, 19, uh, 1914, which says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. And then Psalm 141, in verse number 3, which talks about, set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, keep the door of my lips. And we want to be able to guard our mouths and not say things that are hurtful, but say things that are helpful and say things that are true. Um, and so I challenge you, get your words right and, and, and think about what you're talking about. But today we've got our tiny torch here and we're talking about our mouth, our tongue is as a flame. And uh, we're going to look at that today in James chapter number three. If you got your Bible there, James chapter three, I'm going to read a couple of verses and we'll make a couple of comments. Uh, but the Bible says in James three, uh, verse number three, behold, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. What are they talking about there? Have you ever seen a horse in a parade? They put a tiny bit in the mouth and they could tell the horse to go right or tell the horse to go left, stop, go faster, just by using that tiny thing that they put in the horse's mouth. Verse number four, behold, also the ships which they, though they be great and are driven in fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm whithersoever the governor listeth. And so it's talking about a giant ship now. I've been on a cruise ship before, and it doesn't take much to, uh, to steer that big ship. All it is is a tiny little rudder that's at the back, and they turn it, and they can steer an entire ship. But verse number five, let's look at that. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. And so the tongue among our members, uh, that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and is set on fire of hell. And so you know what the Bible calls our tongue? Our mouth is a little fire that can cause a great big problem. I remember growing up in the heights there in uh, Jupiter, Florida. And I remember before Abacoa was there and all that stuff, uh, no, there was no stadium over there. There was no golf course. It was just woods. And there was kids that lived on Dania Street uh, way, 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 way back in the day. And uh, they uh, were in the woods. And you know what they were doing? They were playing with matches um, in, in the woods there. And you know what they did? They ended up catching those woods on fire and burning several acres. I'll never forget it, coming home from school. And there was fire trucks everywhere, those big brush fire trucks. But here's the point we're trying to make. Uh, um, your tongue can cause big problems. I've got my torch here, my tiny torch. And here's the lesson that we're learning. Uh, last week we said the taggy toothpaste, it teaches us that once it's said, it cannot be unsaid. Uh, but tiny torch teaches us this, the tongue is very small, but can cause big damage. Remember, here it is. The Bible calls it a tiny flame that can cause a big problem. And I don't want to start the church on fire, but there it goes, and we'll just dip it in. And what can happen is just one word from you. One word can cause a big problem. 
It's just a tiny fire, but it can cause a huge problem. I remember uh, Gatlinburg several years ago uh, that uh, there was a fire that burned down thousands of acres, burned down uh, hundreds of homes, and hurt so many people. It took a long time to get out uh, to put the fire out, but it started again with people playing with little matches and, and a little bit of fire. And think about this. Your mouth is something that can cause a lot of damage by what you say. And I remember I, I was looking at Nehemiah chapter 6 for this. There is a man that was there, and his name was Gashmu. Gashmu, what a name. And he discouraged a whole lot of people because of his mouth. And uh, he, if you remember the story of Nehemiah, they were building the wall, and they were... Uh, building the wall of Jerusalem again. Nehemiah was out there with a bunch of people. And you know what? This man Gashmu in chapter 6 of Nehemiah was spreading rumors and lying. And you know what? It caused a lot of people to be hurt or discouraged. And so think about what you're saying. Remember, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And then we're talking about keeping... Our tongue set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the door of my lips. And uh, think about the words that you say. Is it helping somebody? Is it encouraging somebody? Or is it hurting somebody? Remember, your words can cause a big problem. So watch what you say. Have a great day today. We'll see you next week.